Hello everybody and good morning. So I wanted to do a uh, kind of different kind of, I don't know, is this a different kind of video? It's kind of the same as some of the other videos I'm doing, but it's like a reading vlog, but it's specific to one book. So it's kind of like also a book talk. Plus I'm doing it with my friend Kendra from Kendra Loves Books and I will link her channel down below, but we are reading a book and we are writing our thoughts on post-it notes. We're like reading the exact same book. And this is um, like an activity that we're doing like in my book club, but we decided to like film it also because we thought it would be really cool. And we thought for those of you that aren't like doing it, you would want to see our thoughts and like how this goes. Um, so we're writing our thoughts down like while we're reading the book and then we put the post notes in there and then we're sending like I'm sending my copy to her and she's sending hers to mine. And then we're going to read like obviously not read the whole book again, but like look through it and look through all of the thoughts and see like if some of ours were different or like, you know, just stuff like that. So it's gonna be like really, really awesome and exciting, I think. And the book that we decided to do is Eleanor and Gray. And this is by Brittany C. Cherry. I've actually never read anything by her. And the reason that we picked this book is because a lot of our friends, including Shelby from Shelby Taggart Reads, like she said that this book is absolutely amazing. I think most of my friends have given it five stars and they say it's a very emotional read. And so Kendra and I just thought it would be great to read this one because with it being like emotional, you know, we thought we would have a lot of thoughts for post-it notes because I was afraid like sometimes, I don't know, with like a book, you're just reading it and like you just don't have a lot of thoughts, but I think that this is gonna be awesome. And like, it is a beautiful book. Like I just think it is absolutely gorgeous and so I am going to try and read this book all day today and vlog all day today which is actually it's like 10 45 um I actually I'm all dressed up because I was about to make the announcement video for um a readathon that we're hosting in October and yes this is September like you won't see this video until who even knows when October or November just because I have so many videos that like have to go up at the moment and so we wanted to film this now because we have to do this like now but you probably won't be seeing this until like October or November so anyway that's why I'm like all dressed up with lipstick and stuff I do have to go to the dentist at two o'clock so the lipstick will be coming off before then and then after that I'm going with a local friend to a winery so that's gonna be really fun and then after that, I should be able to just like finish the book because I'm going to try and read a lot of it before the dentist at two o'clock. And then I am going to try and read the rest of it like this evening. If I don't get to the rest of it this evening, I'll just film a little bit tomorrow morning because I don't have to go to work until two. So I'll just finish filming until I end the book. And then that'll be the end to this vlog. I cannot wait. I'm going to start reading this now. I have some coffee and I have my white pumpkin candle. Let me show you this. It's called um, Sensational. I get this at TJ Maxx. This is the best brand Sensational of this flavor. This is the best scent ever. White pumpkin. If you have not ever bought this white pumpkin in Sensational, you need to because it's, it's like the only candle that I am obsessed with. I I'll buy it whenever I can, whenever it's fall time and I burn it constantly. I love it so, so much. So that's my recommendation for today. I'm actually kind of excited to read this, especially after the winery, because when I'm feeling like, you know, a little tipsy, I feel like the emotions will just flow so much better. So, oh, and I also have my little like Colleen Hoover bookmark. So it's like, I have all the emotional stuff. And then the post-it notes I just got at the dollar store, literally a dollar, aren't they cute? And then I just have a pen. So that's what we're gonna do. There could possibly be spoilers in here, so yeah. Since I didn't read the book yet, I don't know what thoughts I'm writing down, but just in case, I don't wanna ruin it for anybody. So if you haven't read this book yet, maybe take very much of caution. <music> The next day obviously and I only have like 
45 minutes before I go to work. I should have been reading, but instead I edited a video and then just kind of like lollygagged. And it's not like, I don't know, I'm just like, I think I'm in a reading slump, <laughs> to be honest with you. Like, I was trying to read Eleanor and Gray last night, and like, I like the book, like, it's not a bad book, but I just like, it's like I'm just too tired to read. Like, I just don't feel like reading. So I was watching Shameless last night because, you know, it doesn't take any effort to like watch things on the TV. And so this is definitely turning into more of a one day read this book type of thing. Let's see, what page am I on? I am on page 77 out of like 331. Yeah, so this is definitely gonna take me a couple more days to read. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna read a little bit right now. Then maybe like tomorrow morning, maybe if I'm like, well, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna be halfway, but tomorrow morning I'll go through some of the post-it notes that I already put in because this is definitely gonna be like a video for people that have already read Eleanor and Gray. So if you've already like read it, I'll go through some of my like thoughts so far um, with like what I've written down on the post-it notes and then I'll do it again. Like I'll probably do it like three or four times like within this video. So I need to be a good girl now and read. Hello, I probably look like death, but it's because it's one in the morning and I got home from work. Technically it is Sunday morning and yeah, my hair is wet because I took a shower. But the problem with me working at night is that I drink way too much free espresso at work. <laughs> and I'm like so pumped from like cleaning up and like getting out of work and then I have to drive an hour home. So it's late and I'm not tired. And my husband's already sleeping. He's been like went to bed at like 1030, I think. But anyway, I wanted to update you guys on Eleanor and Gray because um, the other day I, I don't even know if I have to you guys, but I'm at page 205 and there's only like 330 pages. So I'm probably going to read some of it tonight because I really need to finish this t by tomorrow. And I just kind of wanted to go through um, my thoughts at like so far. I am loving this book. Like it is like a five star read already. Like I, I pretty much knew it was a five star read like halfway through the book. I just, I love the characters. I've never really fallen in love with characters before. Um, I guess because I read a lot of thrillers, but I love these characters. I love how they're written. I think they're hilarious. I love the sad parts. I don't know, I just really, really like them. And so um, there are gonna be spoilers. So I'm just gonna go through um, and just kind of like talk about some of my thoughts like throughout the book so far. So obviously like page two, and like if you've read this book, you probably know everything I'm talking about, but like page two, like was, I couldn't believe that it was already making me cry about her mom having cancer. That was like so sad to find out. It actually wasn't even like the first chapter. Like I wrote a note and I was like, that wasn't even the first chapter. Like, oh my gosh, crazy like we're in for a ride and then her parents are so funny because like I just love how like her parents were joking around about like they wanted her to like go out and party and like do drugs and stuff so that way they could like have sex I was like that is so crazy like her parents just seem so so cool and then another thing I love I love that the character Eleanor like um you read about like her obviously when she's like younger and then when she's older but I love like when she's younger she they just constantly talked about how like her love of reading and like I love how it was saying how like she had headphones on and like people would still talk to her and I was like oh my gosh people do that to me all the time and I was like I wrote multiple times like her parents sound like the cutest couple ever because they literally are the cutest couple I love her parents in this whole book and then Gray's parents I I actually dislike both of Gray's parents just because even though his mom, I guess, is the better parent, I still think that she should have left um, his dad. Like, he, she should not let his dad, like, treat her that way. And it says that, like, you know, she stayed, I guess, because of the money, but I just don't not think, like, 
I wouldn't want to do that. I also love Dudley Gilmore Girls references in this book. Awesome. And I even said, I was like, can I please trade moms with Eleanor? Like she's so nice and supportive. Like, oh my gosh, I just love her. Also their first date, like they went to go drink coffee and read. That's like the perfect date ever. I would totally like love that. Actually, my first date with my husband, like we went and drank coffee, but we didn't read. He's not a reader, but still. Then we get to the part where like Eleanor's mom dies and I legit was crying. I even wanted to film like me reading that part because I was legitimately crying, but my phone was dead, <laughs> of course. <laughs> And I literally like, oh my gosh, it was so, so sad. The only thing I was a little hesitant on is it feels like Gray is a little too like mature for his age in some of these younger chapters. Like he's, it almost seems like he's like too good for his age. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could see my husband being like that because my husband kind of reminds me of Gray when Gray was younger. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like guys that age like 17 years old or whatever they just don't seem to like treat girls the way that gray treats eleanor in this book before right before we get to part two i had written a note and i was like one of the saddest parts to me is ellie's dad falling apart they had such a great marriage and i don't know how he will ever been bounce back if i lost alvin i would die because like you're reading about just how great like their marriage was and then once eleanor's mom dies I just was like, I felt so sad for like Ellie's dad because he literally like lost a piece of himself. And it was so sad to like read about like him falling into a depression from that. Like, I just can't even imagine, like, I just can't. It's very sad for me to think about. And then I actually really enjoy like reading about Eleanor and like her being a nanny now. I thought, and Eleanor is so funny as an adult, like she, cracks me up. And when you like reading about Grey, now that he's older, it reminded me of like Fifty Shades of Grey. So it's actually kind of funny because I don't know if both if these books came out at the same time or not, but it is pretty funny. And then I cannot believe reading about like how Grey lost his wife. Like this book is literally just filled with like all of the sad things. It is so sad. Oh my gosh. And I was just like, like I could not believe like just reading about like the car accident and like for him having to live with that, like, you know, having that as like his guilt, so crazy. And then I wrote Lorelai, who's like the little girl, like I love her. She is such a sassy little kid. Her personality is great in here. Like that's what I'm talking about. The characters in this book are just written so amazing. I like love every single one of them. There's just so many references though. Like <laughs> when Lorelai was like, ask Cole, like, oh my gosh so funny like there's so many like little things that i think are just hilarious so we're now at the page 205 where i'm at so i'm going to read this and i will just update you guys with the rest of my thoughts like with the rest of the book um but yeah i would love to hear you guys' thoughts like if you've read this book definitely let, let me know like down in the comments like your favorite parts your favorite characters anything like that because I think this is going to be one of my like new all-time favorite books. I just like, I'm loving it so much. I love the characters. Like I wish, I for once I actually wish that there was like a sequel to this because I just don't want to stop reading about these characters. They're just like so cute. <laughs> sad and it's like it's almost 2 30 in the morning and I need to go to bed and I don't want to like keep crying and talking about it so I will update you guys tomorrow um about like the rest of my thoughts but like literally like the last like 30 pages I was just like crying my eyes out because it was like sad and then like happy sad Oh my gosh, it's such a good book. So, anyway, I will talk to you guys 
tomorrow and update you guys but if you haven't if you've watched up until this time and you have not read this book yet and you don't care about the spoilers like you should still go back and read this book because it is amazing hey guys i feel like it's been a while because i've kind of had this video like in the works for i think over a month now it's so crazy anyway so to touch up base i don't even know where i left off because i haven't even started like editing this video yet but this is my friend kendra's copy of eleanor in gray because we both read it and we did a little buddy read so she actually has like post-it notes in here so i don't think i ever updated you guys on like my actual full thoughts of eleanor in gray after i was done reading it because i think i was busy um, so first I'm going to just go through and see if she has some of the same thoughts as me in some of the same places. Um, she actually has my copy and she's like doing the same thing in a video. So you'll have to go check out her video after this. But after that, then I will talk to you guys about like everything that I loved about Eleanor and Grace. So let's see what she said in here. And this will have spoilers just in case you made it past my other spoilers. Like this part's definitely also going to have spoilers. Oh, she said this book is so beautiful. I also used to watch Mr. Rogers when I was younger. I think I might have put that. I don't remember what I put. She said, OMG, her mom has cancer. I already know this is gonna make me cry. I swear I wrote the same thing on this page. It's gonna be so funny when we actually release both of these videos and we like notice that we said the same things. She said, fun fact, I've only read the first three books of Harry Potter. <laughs> I've only ever read the first one book of Harry Potter and I like hated it, but it was because I was like an adult. So I feel like it's because like, you know, I'm kind of past that age. So I'm 100% introverted. This is totally me. Oh, cause it says quietly alone with a good cup of coffee, a solid read and our faithful cats. Yeah, totally. Guys, this is so much fun. Like you got to do a post-it note swap with somebody. I think I like Grayson already swooning. Her little post-it notes are so cute. Like she has such great handwriting. <laughs> She said, OMG, Nick Latchy is from Cincy. I love him. And 98 degrees. I actually, oh, I guess it was like Nick and Jessica Simpson are together. I actually don't even know because I was homeschooled. The OMG, he read all five books, so they have something in common. I love him already. Yeah, so this guy, Gray in here, he like read a, like five of the Harry Potter books just so that he could talk to Eleanor about it. Super cute. She's a high school crushes. Aw, I just can't. Swooning. I wish my husband would sit and read with me. <laughs> yeah, same. No, it's okay. He sits, my husband sits and plays like video games while I'm reading, so it's fine. Aw, need I say more? Yeah, there's so many cute moments. I couldn't imagine watching your mom die from cancer. I know, like, it was so sad. I was literally crying tears reading this book. OMG, why is he the sweetest thing in the world? <laughs> and here it says, would it be all right if I kept you forever? And she's like, yes, yes, yes. I honestly couldn't even imagine. Yeah, like after Eleanor's mom dies, it's so sad. She said, I'm already tearing up. I'm pretty sure I wrote that like 20,000 times in this book. Oh my gosh, yeah, she's crying. I'm pretty sure I wrote so many. Everyone needs a Grayson in their life. That's true. Crying again. Like, I swear I have the same post-it notes where I'm just like, I'm crying, I'm crying. She said, ha, ah, the Facebook reference is so funny because I stayed, because I started mine when I was in college. <laughs> yeah, I forget what year that this is in. That sucks so bad that their timing was off. I know. And then it goes into part two, which was also amazing. Yeah, she said, Damn, $65,000 for a nanny job? Sign me up. She said, don't tell me he turned into a word that means kind of like asshole that I'm not gonna say on my channel. <laughs> oh, poor girl. That has to be so tough having a scar on your face. Yeah, that is, that is like his one daughter like has a scar on, the, on his face because spoilers from like the car accident that they got into. And like, I, I did feel like really, really sad with that whole like scenario. I know she has been through a lot, but damn, this poor girl is damaged and so is Grayson. Yeah, like that whole backstory for like why Grayson acts the way he is and like his daughters and stuff. Oh my gosh, like it's so crazy. Yeah, she said, wow, he's so cold. I don't like this gray. Like he became just so distant and like, I just don't, I mean, I can see that happening, but it was really sad to read about him 
being so distant after he was like so loving as like a high school student. Seems she's acting out to get her father's attention. Yeah, like the one daughter. She said, oh, he's finally coming around. Yeah. She said, oh, gee, that's so dang sweetful and thoughtful. Oh my gosh, yeah. When they like crocheted a cardigan for Eleanor because like, I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, it was like, an old boyfriend of hers like she okay so she kept all her cardigans from when she was younger because it reminded her of her mom because i think her mom like crocheted all her cardigans for her and it was like one of the only pieces of her mom that she had left and then one of her like not nice boyfriends from the past was like a therapist or something and told her that like she had to like let go of these cardigans if she ever wanted to move on so he threw them away and so she didn't have the cardigans like from her mom, which like, oh, I was so angry about. But then once like Gray and Eleanor like get back together, then um, like I could not believe that they like crocheted her a cardigan, which was like so nice. I thought that was like such a sweet thing to do. Oh my gosh, I literally died at this part. He, like him and Eleanor were like, you know, getting frisky and he accidentally called her by the name of his dead wife which like obviously like he like she died in the car accident and like he still loved her and so he was like grieving that but like oh my gosh like it wasn't anybody's fault which is why like it made me kind of like so upset reading it in the story because like you can't be mad at gray for accidentally saying his wife's name, like his old wife's name, and especially because he still had feelings for her, but like he also has feelings for Eleanor. It was just, oh, I felt so bad for Eleanor too, because like if I was in that situation, I would just be so upset. Gosh, I just remember now how much I loved this book. I'm so glad I like went back through it, looking through uh, Kendra's post-it notes, because it just makes me remember like all the parts I love. Wow, that's beautiful. She said, okay, at the end she said, five stars. This book was probably one of the most beautiful books I've read. This will forever be one of my favorite books. I love when I get emotionally invested in a story and this book was just that. Thank you for reading this book with me. Love you. Yeah, I agree. So this reminds me of a Colleen Hoover book just because of how emotional it is. And that's what I like in romance books. Like I am not somebody that loves a whole bunch of sex scenes and just like all of that type of like erotica type of stuff. I love a good slow burn romance that really deals with hard hitting issues and really gets you emotional and makes you really like the characters. I loved all of the characters in this book. Like I thought Eleanor's mom was so hilarious. I thought her dad was great and their relationship, like her mom and dad's relationship was making me cry in the beginning, especially like after her mom died because like, oh my gosh, like I'm getting emotional just talking about this story. This is so crazy, but like, I don't know. I guess I think about it like with my own marriage and like if like Alvin died, even if it's like in old age or, you know, from natural causes or even like, you know, I think about, you know, when we're older and, you know, it's just like, how do people live without their significant other? Like, I know that you move on, but it was just like so sad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was so sad to read about Eleanor's mom dying and then like her dad kind of like losing himself because I mean, if you're married to someone for that long, and then like, it's like your best friend literally dies. And so that was just really, really sad to read about. And I mean, even for like Eleanor, like her mom dying and she was really close to her mom, like to have just great parents like that. And then for them to just, you know, or at least one of them to just die. So that was like super sad. And then even on Gray's part, like I think it was his grandma it was either his grandma or grandfather died i think it was his grandfather and so he had been going through grief when he was younger but then when he was older like just the whole like car accident and what his daughters like went through and like with his wife dying because like they had a great relationship and so it's just really sad to like see these sad things happen. And like, that is real life. Like this stuff really happens to people. People really have to go through the amount of grief that like these characters went through. And so I think that's why it like makes me so emotional because 
it's a like it's a real thing like people actually go through this and I would never want to have to be in that position so it's just like I don't know it's like oh such a such a good book and um I like cannot wait I'm like sending Gabby my copy because I've been telling Gabby like she needs to read it and I wanted her to read my post-it notes as well so um I'm just like really really excited and i I'll be telling Gabby not to watch like this video until she's done reading, but I'm hoping that she loves it as well. And I feel like she's probably going to cry her eyes out as well. But yeah, like the whole, like when Gray says Nicole's name, like his wife's name. Oh my gosh. Like I literally thought like my heart was breaking for both of them because like like I said before it wasn't anybody's fault and but like I know what that would feel like like you're falling in love with this guy you think he's falling in love with you which like he is but he still loves his dead wife and you know I always wondered how that is like I know that some people like their significant other dies and maybe they're only like 60 and then they get remarried I mean and they could even be younger but then they get remarried and it's like, I wonder how many years you have to go through grieving and then falling in love with someone else. And if you're constantly thinking about your first spouse, like, I don't know. I think that whole concept just kind of like freaks me out to be real. Like, I don't know. But anyway, this is an absolutely great book. If you made it this whole way through because you didn't care about hearing spoilers, but you still haven't read this book, you need to go read it like I just love it and if you did read this book and you loved all the spoilers like me talking about it definitely talk to me down in the comments and let me know your own thoughts and what parts you thought what like I want to hear what you guys thought about this book because I just absolutely loved it and I'm literally going to rave about it to everybody now because I'm just so excited and Brittany C. Cherry just announced um she has like the it's, it's not like a sequel to this, but it has Landon and Shay from this book and it's about their story. And I think I just requested to get an arc and review it um, to do a whole like, uh, like kind of blog tour type of thing with my channel or slash bookstagram. So I'm really hoping I get approved for that because I love Britney C. Cherry's writing. Like it's so amazing and I can't wait to read the follow-up book or not really the follow-up book, but like the other characters book. I forget what that's called. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you like these type of spoiler reading vlogs for specific books, like let me know down in the comments or give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more of these um, because it was really cool to actually like be able to tell you exactly my thoughts and you know like I mean at least say that I have spoilers in here but so, yeah I would love to do more of these I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in another video bye everyone mm -hmm.